this is Fountain Pendulum. In this video, I'd like to share with you my new acquisition. This is a Pilot Custom 823 in amber. So this is a very familiar pen to most of you, and it was a rather familiar pen to me as well, in that it is rather a renowned pen, especially for Pilot. And I don't usually buy too much into the hype of other people, though it's certainly noted, but I don't, I'm not like the first person to jump on the bandwagon when people hip and holler about things. However, this pen I got to see and handle in person for the first time at a pen meetup last year and I was very curious to pick it up and try it out since I'd heard so many good things about it and when I indeed did pick it up the first thing I noticed was that it felt extremely well made and that it was extremely comfortable in the hand so already I was quite impressed with it I must say that one of the most comfortable things about this pen are number one the finish it feels very smooth superior to most other resin pens even those specific to pilot like the falcon for instance which in my mind is on the other side of the spectrum that it does not feel particularly expensive or high quality or luxurious but this is very smooth and not as smooth as perhaps a Rushi, but not, not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. And then in the feel to the hand, there's the weight. This pen, both in the cap and in the body, has a very comforting amount of weight, where you feel like you're holding something substantial but not heavy. And they're nicely balanced. Some pens, right when you uncap them, you feel as though the pen is very light and you've let go of most of the weight, but that's not the case here. They're quite equally balanced and although this pen is quite sizable and me personally, I would not be posting this pen. It would be very long and a little bit back heavy, but not much really. Still, the weight of just the pen uncapped is very, very lovely. Next for comfort, I would say is the girth of the pen. The body of the pen is 12 millimeters and then 10.5 at the thinnest point and about 11 here. So I found this to be a very comfortable um, thickness or girth to the pen. And finally, there's no step up. It's just a very smooth transition other than the threads that are there, which are noticeable but I'd say appropriately smooth and because the grip section is an adequate length I don't find them disturbing when I hold and write with the pen. Then there's the overall look of the pen. Um, like is common with Pilot it's a pretty traditional look and style. It's the torpedo shape and it has a quite traditional clip to it. However, I think they've done some very recognizable things in the style of this pen, and that's perhaps why it's so popular in addition to the features of its comfort and the fact that it's a vacuum filler. So I'll say aesthetically, I am not a big fan of demonstrator pens. However, with this amber, semi-translucent, translucent resin. I think it's very tasteful. And I think what they've done that makes it look even more elevated, if you compare it to other vacs, again, this is my opinion, of course, but the fact that there's opaqueness at um, the piston knob on this end, it's opaque brown. And the fact that the top of the finial here is opaque brown and that the grip section is opaque brown I think are excellent features 
especially with the piston knob and the top finial. When these are translucent in other demonstrators, you see more of the inside mechanics that to me do not look very appealing. You'd see the rod and then where the rod secures to the resin. And to me, that does not look very put together. So by making them opaque, I think it gives it a very luxurious look. And if this was opaque, I think that would be fine too. However, still having it opaque does not show the transition of ink and into the threads, which I think is nice. They've done a nice job of having consistent gold details from this end to that end, along with the clip. And then I think that this band is one of the most lovely that are out there. As it reads, custom, 823, three stars, pilot, made in Japan. And three stars again. So it... The threads are extremely smooth for capping and uncapping. The threads that operate the piston are less smooth, at least on the particular pen I have. And re-threading it feels kind of grindy and resistant and it feels like it's cross-threading even if you start on the reverse. And closely looking at the threads, there's a dusting of resin bits. So I don't know if that's common or not. If you've experienced this with your piston knob on your Pilot Custom 823, regardless of the color, let us know in the comments below. Then we move down to the nib which is very beautifully done, stamped and decorative. 14 carats, this one happens to be a medium. I believe that the feed on this is ebonite, but I'm not sure. And I purchased this pen secondhand. I believe this is the original feed. I don't believe it was upgraded. Now, here's something interesting to consider. When I received this pen, here in the demonstrator section, on the inside there's an insert to keep the pen, or the nib rather, moist. And then there's a small gap toward the top. When I received this pen, I noticed that there were some bits in there and what it looked like was either condensation or some resin buildup. So this is what I did. I got a pencil and a rubber band and I put the rubber band on the back of my pencil and I inserted this into the pen and I twisted it and removed the plastic insert which I'll not do but that was the method in which I did it without much trouble and behind that plastic insert was indeed some resin scraps from the machining that was originally done so with great content I cleaned that out with a q-tip and now I'm very happy of myself. So that's an overlook at the pen. I think the only thing that could be done to this pen aesthetically to improve my opinion of it is I do prefer flat ends instead of the torpedo shape and I would have enjoyed something more modern with the clip. There's some really gorgeous designs that are done with clips and I am particularly fond of the clip on the Pilot Falcon, so I would say that this style doesn't really do anything for me, but yet, of course, it didn't deter me from purchasing the pen. Now let's take a close look at this nib. I have had it custom ground, 
and it started as a medium and it is now a crisp cursive italic done by Matthew Chen and he did an excellent job on it. So let's put this pen to paper so you can see what it is able to accomplish. And I underlined crisp because it is more on the crisp side of the italic. This nib um, has a little bit of bounce to it, a little bit of give, and it's a pretty wet writer but it wasn't originally I had the ink flow increased and if you're gonna write more than a couple of words or sentences down with this pen because it's a vac filler you would just simply unscrew the top of the piston there which when that is operated retracts the plunge there to allow for more um, release of the ink and kind of the exchange of ink and air to be able to flow more freely, which would increase your airflow. So if you open it just a little bit, um, you know, or a lot, that would somewhat impact how much ink flow is provided to the nib. So that's something kind of interesting that I've been playing with so that I can um, control how dry or how wet I'd prefer the pen to be. So let me write with this more upright so you can get a different idea of the grind. And I want to be a little bit more mindful of different people's writing styles too. So I'm going to write in print. Which feels very unnatural to me. And when you apply pressure to the nib, it provides more ink flow, but of course it's a slightly bouncy nib, not a flex pen. And this is without pressure.
So that's the writing sample. And um, I actually did not um, have this pen before it had the original grind, so I can't give any feedback on how the original grind of this pen felt. Um, generally speaking, pilots are very smooth. And because this is a crisp, crisp metallic, it does have quite a bit of sharpness and feedback to it, but that is the grind that I enjoy and those are the characteristics that come with it. So yeah, that's a overlook of this Pilot Custom 823. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your pens. It's all up to you now.